Hey folks, this is not a cooking channel and I am not a chef, I'm an engineer. But I do love venison and I have uh, some venison backstrap here I'm going to cook up on the Silver Fire Rocket Stove because it's lunchtime and I'm pretty hungry. This will cook fast. Um, there is many things that you can cook on the stove. Any type of cast ironware, pots you can set on the stove and we're going to show you that. But uh, I wanted to show you what I'm going to do. A lot of people with backstrap, they do all sorts of seasoning. I actually like venison, so I'm only putting butter in the pan. It's a little bit of salt and pepper because I really enjoy, enjoy it. It'll cook really fast. So I take two backstraps, and the way I learned how to eat this stuff is you butterfly, make little butterfly uh, steaks out of it, kind of, and fry it up in a pan. But we're going to do it on the rocket stove today, the Silver Fire Survivor. That's what I like to do, just open them up, make little, you cut down, not all the way through, and then you cut the next one down, you open them up, and oh my goodness, this is, there is nothing better to me than butterfly, venison, tenderloin, or backstrap. Does this look good or what? All right, I guess that's it. Engineer 775 here. I believe maybe some of you have seen this stove. This is the next generation in rocket stoves called the Silver Fire Survivor. And this stove has some really cool features. What makes it the next generation is several things. You can see the ventilation flits around the bottom, that's 360 degrees, allowing air into the chamber. There's a double wall chamber that I, from what I can tell. And I'm gonna try to get in, hard to see. But back in here, I'm gonna point to a stick. There's they're secondary holes that come around through here. And what that allows, this is the first rocket stove with a secondary burn. You have a primary burn down in your main chamber, and air is going to come up through the grate air here and give you your primary burn. And then that air coming up, just naturally convecting up, will come down through those holes, hit that um, hot hot gas and reignite to do a final clean, a final burn there. So you get that kind of that gasifier effect, the t lud effect, where you have a primary and secondary burn. It's not a gasifier stove, but uh, the silver, the survivor isn't. There is a, uh, a fan stove, um, and there is also a hunter um, for having a t lud a top-lit updraft gasifier effect. So highly recommend those too, but a simple plain rocket stove without any external power requirements, that's what this baby is. So it's similar to some that you've seen, except this has a lid. And when you're cooking or burning, you want to keep this lid, you don't want to keep the lid up. You want to put the lid down and so it sits against your biomass, whatever sticks or twigs that you're using. And the reason for that is because you want that secondary burn, secondary burn um, that I mentioned to kick in. And that'll only happen if you restrict the airflow in this area, forcing that natural convection to pull air in through these slits and then hit those secondary uh, primary secondary holes that are just below the surface okay so here's a top view of the stove so great great stove probably the best performing rocket stove out there today in terms of um, the standard by which stoves need to be judged and that's bringing five liters of water to a boil and uh, simmering for 45 minutes so there's an international standard, believe it or not, for judging these stoves. There's a lot of stoves out there. A lot of stoves claim to do a lot of things, but the, this one passes the test by far. And again, this is nothing wrong with our old rocket stove you have. I've got a bunch of them, and I enjoy all of them. But um, it's like anything, things keep getting improved. And this is a major improvement in rocket stove technology. When you're putting your sticks in, don't bottom them out against the back of the stove. You want them to come out kind of like burning the end of them, like watching a match burn. You want the ends of the sticks to burn. It does a lot nicer job. So you could bump it and then pull it back about an inch. Okay, I'm just going to use a match. I'm going to light these grasses here and uh, see if we can get this thing going. All right, kind of taking off right there. I'm going to close this door down. Yeah, we got flame right there. So just lighten it with a match and some grasses. I mean, once it comes up to temperature, the smoke will go away. But right now we got eh, the grass probably a little wet. But she's taking off nicely. 
hear that rocketing effect oh I like that so once that's going I'll throw a couple more bigger sticks in there you can throw them in from the top and but you don't have to do that just throw a couple in there but those other sticks should be ignited by now and once they're going we'll uh, once it's burning nice I'm gonna put that pot of water on this stove and let's take a look at this pot this is a pretty fancy pot this is a skirted pot so the heat is going to wrap around the edge of the rocket stove and the heat's going to basically put all the heat's going to go into this pot and it's a specially designed pot it's got five liters of water in it so we're going to see how she does on the rocket stove here okay there's the shot looking down into the stove getting ready to cook lunch okay we've got the door down we've got our just set my cast iron pan on there just getting the butter ready and then we're going to I'm going to cook these back strap for lunch. Again, I'm better at installing solar water systems and generators than I am cooking. But, sometimes, there's things only a guy can cook. <laughs> that should get a few comments. You don't want to overcook these, do you? It just it won't take long with this rocket stove. A few sticks of wood, and we're going to be in lunch. All right. All right. Just a little bit of salt and pepper is all that is required. No fancy seasonings for this stuff. Butter, salt, and pepper. Okay. How's lunch looking? Looking pretty darn good to me. Yeehaw. Okay, it is lunchtime. Time to eat some delicious butterfly backstrap. Come join me. Okay, I wanted you to see, I don't know if you can see it, I hope you can. There's this, there's air coming out of those secondary holes now, the secondary burn. You have a primary burn, which is right at the biomass, and the secondary burn, you have these loops of uh, flames coming out of the holes, like on a gasifier stove. That's awesome truly a cleaner burning rocket stove due to the secondary or a secondary burn so it there you see it working there are okay at the 10 minute mark I just kind of heard this thing kind of taking off let's see oh yeah lots of bubbles bubbles on the bottom so 10 minutes with five liters of water I think is uh, very impressive okay we're right around uh, 13 minutes on our pot boil and you can see the steam coming out, so I imagine we're doing pretty good. Hey, what do you say about that? Wow, that's impressive. 13 minutes, crazy fast rolling boil with 5 liters of water. I don't think I've ever done that.